Did Garfield Games do it again? Do what? This is the review for the board game Ezra and Naomi, Naomi? Nehemiah. That's what I said. By the end of this video, you will know if you should say Ezra and Nehemiah. <laughs> no? I actually like it better than last one. We have six burning questions that we will answer in this video. But before we do that, what is this game all about? So you go back in history to ancient Jerusalem and try to rebuild it. In this game, we're gonna play three rounds. After three rounds, whoever has the most points is the winner. And the one round is a whole week. Well, what? What I mean with that, it's seven days where in each day you just play a card and do an action. And these actions are based on the card you just played. Gray flags mean I can build walls and collect the rubble. And the unique part about this is the rubble you collect are the resources you can use. And that's pretty much the main way you will get resources in this game by cleaning them up and then reusing them. So you're rebuilding the city from it's ashes. The other action is the red flags. Wow, 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 I'm getting some red flags here. This time it's good to have red flags because you can use those to sacrifice some resources on the altar or build a temple with different resources. Both of these will give you some kind of resources and retreat points. And the last one are the blue flags which let you, which let you either spread the word around about you rebuilding Jerusalem or writing down in these scrolls, which essentially means you're gonna get some special abilities or points or both. There are some bonus actions. You mean auxiliary action. Yeah, auxiliary. Yeah, or, yeah uh, Shem, why? Why doesn't it say bonus action instead of auxiliary? Nehemiah, auxiliary, what next? You ha also have your unique player board and each time there's gonna be different buildings there. You can upgrade them with resources you gather, which means you will have stronger actions. And one card has multiple uses. For example, these are the flags that we talked about. These are weekly points you can score if you use the card. And these are trades that are available if you use this card. You play three weeks. Is it three yeah, weeks? Oh. And at the end of each week, there's gonna be Sabbath. You need to feed all your people and workers. Check, do you get any bonuses or lose bonuses because you didn't do good enough job at the altar? And you score some extra weekly points from here and there. Three weeks. Weeks. Three weeks and uh, you finish the game and see who has the most points. And don't worry, we're gonna talk a lot more about this game in this video, so we should jump to the first question, which is... Who would you buy this for? Or should I say, who would you back this for, as it is right now on Kickstarter? Three, two, one. Not only Euro gamers. This is a Euro game for sure. Hey, there. I think they noticed cubes immediately. Yeah. Still, all the mechanisms that are here, how they flow, even if you're really bored of Euro games, I think you still would like this. Sure, you're getting cubes, you're trading cubes, you're placing some guys on the board, but rebuilding walls and getting resources and the card dynamic, just something very unique. This is not just another good Euro game. But it's good, I guess we'll find out. What are the three best things about this game? I'm gonna go with rebuilding walls. It just feels so nice that the economic of these resources is right here on the board. Yeah. You can go and take it and it's gonna start running out. It does feel like it's recycling and at the end of the game you have cleaner, better looking yeah. city. There's exactly. progress and I love progress in games. I think you will have this too, but cards. Each card has multi-use. You have to tuck one of your cards each week and those will give you points. Just choices from one single card feels amazing. Card play is number one. You have four cards in your hand. Which cards do you save? Which card do you play? Do you want the bottom action better than the top flags? No, usually you will go for the flags, but which flags? Do I cover this card? Because each time you play a card, you're either gonna be play it as the first or a second card. And if you play a second card, then you cover the other card. <sighs> Great. And one thing I didn't expect from this game is the interaction. It's not in the common sense where I attack you or do yeah, something like that. It's not direct. But anytime I build a wall next to your gate, I get resources and you get resources. Anytime I want to get a scroll, I have to check if I don't have to pay to you to get it. You might take the resources or you might build the wall that I want. Those are just few examples where I feel like this is not a dry hero game at all. Second best thing is going to be the feeling of never being really stuck. You'll need bread, but somehow you always find a way to get the bread. There's not this one action. Oh, you went first, you got it. Now I'm, I'm screwed. No, there are ways. All the things. 
I can do so many actions. There are those three flags. Each of them can do at least two things. And those things, I have a lot of choice how I will want to do them. Choices upon choices and things to do. And they don't actually feel like overwhelming. I could always follow along and always feel like I did not the optimal move, but a really good move. Every single thing felt really nice. Why this game might not be for you? Have you ever felt that reading a rule book is like the tough part of board games? Like a dragon that you need to defeat to get to that game? Here's a t-shirt to represent that and help you with that process. Really? No, but it will represent it. So holidays are coming up, so if you're looking for some special gift, why not this? Number one is AP. Analyst paralysis, because there's a lot of decisions with a single card. It might take a lot more time to play the game. It's a lot. And all the interactions, all the choices, which is also a good part, but if you play with people who like to take their time, there's a lot of time to take here. Tactics, not strategy. If you clear these out and I wanted to, I have to think of something else now. If you took this style and I wanted to, well, I have to do something else now. Somebody might do something that makes you change your plans. There's so many things that even playing with more people, you don't feel that too many times. The dragon. About, what? About the shirt. Oh, the, here's the dragon. Thank you. I was the lucky one who had to read it and to teach to people. Actually, the teaching of the game is super simple, but just going through all these concepts that are, well, unique, all of them are unique, because that one action does that, and you can use it for those two things, and that things, and that things, and you just get a bit lost. The rule book is really, really good, but it's a tough dragon, this one. Probably never gonna do with this game is I'm never gonna play this with four. With two is perfect, it moves quickly, we don't step on each other's toes too much, but with three players between my turns, oh man, forget about planning anything on the board. Chill and wait, and then when your turn comes, you can start to figure out what you wanna do, and if you're an AP person, then with four players, this might be an issue. How long is the rebuilding of Jerusalem? <laughs> you thought I was gonna say honeymoon. Three, two, one. Play a filler in between and I think you're fine. You won't be able to do everything. Last game we played, we totally ignored the temple building. At least it's gonna take you like three, four games to kind of, okay, I feel like I've maxed out in each of these games separate things. I don't think replayability for this type of Euro is going to be a problem here. This is something you can play, put on your shelf, play a filler or something else and after a while come back to it. And I think don't think you will forget the rules at all. I think it always can feel fresh. This is one of those games where the end is coming and you're like, ah, one more turn, just one more turn. So for this game, the honeymoon is long, but let us know in the comments, which is the longest honeymoon you've had with a Euro or, game. Or are still having. Because we are looking for Euro games that we actually need to play. Let us know which ones are those. But what is the best alternative? Three, two, one. West Kingdom Trilogy. Teotihuacan. Rebuilding Teotihuacan. So mine is uh, also a heavy Euro game with a historic flavor okay. about Check. building. A lot of choices between which actions and how you want to do it. And also the resource management I felt like is similar where you don't have a lot of them, but you have to be efficient. If you like this one, yeah, I think you will love this one. If you've played other Garfield games, especially I felt this reminded me a lot of what West Kingdom series where there are a lot of things happening and it fits all together great. Hadrian's Wall. Yeah, so many things, but it just all fits together. If you liked any of those, you will like this. And to be honest, I like this better than any of these I've played, so... Let's talk about that in the final rating. Let's go. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic Euro game where, if somebody asks me, I'm not gonna say, well, it's just another Euro game. No, 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 it's another good, unique Euro game just because of all these mechanisms working together. I don't have a lot of bad things to say about it. I just wanna play it again. It's an amazing board game. It's really great. I'm excited about it. It's lovely. All the good things and the bad things that we mentioned are not that important. Okay. I hope you don't know if this game is for you, especially if you're a Euro game lover. Consider supporting us and getting that extra video every month. Check out our merch store for maybe a gift for the holidays yeah. or maybe for yourself because let's be honest, you really want that shirt.